Fornska and I have created a set chart that orders sets by evenness and compactness. In this episode of the Set Theory Simplified series, we'll explain evenness, compactness, and learn to navigate the set chart of modes. Since Fornska is the one that coded the algorithm that rank orders the sets according to evenness in our chart, I'm going to turn it over to him to explain evenness. We start by defining a perfectly even set. If you want a chord with a certain number of notes, simply divide the octave into that many equal-sized intervals. For example, for three-note chords, divide the 12 semitones of the octave by three. That gives us the number four, so a perfectly even three-note set should have an interval pattern that goes plus four, plus four, plus four, which of course is an augmented triad. From there, you can measure how even any other set is by finding how much you would have to change it to make it become perfectly even. The more you have to change it, the less even it is. For example, think about a C major triad, C, E, G. To turn it into an augmented triad, I can raise G up to A flat. That's just a one semitone change, which isn't very big, so it turns out that major and minor chords are the second most even three-note sets just behind augmented triads. In contrast, a very uneven set, like the chromatic cluster C C-sharp D, requires me to move the notes a lot before it becomes perfectly even. I'm glossing over some mathematical details here, like how you find the most efficient way to transform any set to become perfectly even. But one complication that I should point out is that sometimes you find two sets that are fundamentally different but equally even. For example, a diminished triad and a sus4 chord both require the same amount of alteration to become perfectly even. You have to change two notes by one semitone each. To make our list, we had to choose a way to break ties between two sets with equal evenness. We decided to consider another feature called compactness, and I'll hand things back off to Jay to explain how that works. Thanks, Vornska. Compactness has to do with how spread out a scale is. To determine compactness between two scales, we compare the distance between the starting pitch of the scales with the last pitch. When we compare the modes of the major triad, we see that the root position mode is most compact because it spans the shortest distance from C to G, while a second position major triad is the most spread out because it spans the largest distance from C to A. In our chart, we list every mode of each set rank ordered from the most spread out to most compact. This means the order of modes for the major triad starts with second position since it's the most spread out, and the root position major triad is ranked third because it's the most compact mode. If there's a tie between the first and last pitch of a set, we compare the starting pitch to the second to the last pitch of each scale, and if ties continue, we continue comparing earlier pitches. The Lydian mode is the most spread out mode of the major scale. Comparing the last three pitches between the Lydian scale and the major scale, we get ties, but the distance between their fourth scale degree is larger in the Lydian scale, making it first in the ranking of modes in the major scale set. The ordering of sets is usually determined by evenness, but when sets tie in evenness, the more spread out set is ranked ahead of more compact sets. When we rank all the modes of a single set, it's determined entirely by compactness. We chose to order our chart by evenness because it's a property that's highly correlated with a host of other musically important features, such as consonants, parsimonious voice leading, and regularity as a scale. Ordering the chart like this also imbues our rank number with valuable information about where that set lies on a spectrum of evenness. Perhaps it's difficult to remember that the major scale is 735 in Fort system, but it's much easier to remember that it's 7.1 in our system because the major scale is the most even seven note set. Ranking modes according to compactness gives us an objective way to order modes and label them. Taking a look at the set chart of modes, we see the spread number which begins with a cardinal number, separated with a decimal instead of a dash, and then the rank number which is based on evenness. 
Then we have the fort number equivalent for each spread number for translation purposes. Then we have the pitches for each mode written out as letters starting on C. Next we see the mode ranking according to compactness. Then we have our interval pattern, interval vector, and then a trichord vector which is something we experimented with that's probably not too useful, but it displays the total amount of three note chords in a set, starting with augmented chords and ending with a chromatic cluster. In summary, sets that are closest to an equal division of the octave are ranked first in our set chart, and modes of each set are ranked according to compactness with the most spread out modes being ranked first. This allows us to view the world of sets beginning with sets that are most often used in music. I invite you all to explore the world of sets in order of evenness and to explore each set's modes. If you are mostly interested in seeing each set's modes and not the properties of sets, you can view our document Set Modes as Sheet Music, which uses the same ordering system, but shows the sets written out as sheet music. What are your thoughts and questions about evenness, compactness, and the set chart of modes? Let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon.